Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Ravish Textures. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to insert slabs and how to insert slab reinforcement as per this structural drawing. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, let's go to the level in which we want to insert the slab. We'll go to level 3 here and we we'll, uh, can simply go to the option of floor, floor structural and then uh, select a particular shape that will go to the rectangular shape and then we'll uh, insert the particular slab. So after you insert the particular slab, you just click on the stick option and the slab is created. So if you want to change the properties of the slab, let's go with the thickness of 100 mm. So the slab thickness will be 100 mm. So now you can work on this particular uh, slab here. So we'll have you know similar uh, lengths uh, along both this one and this one. So we don't have to worry about anything. Here we'll go to the any one elevation. Let's go with the east elevation here, and uh, we'll go to the wireframe view because right now we, wa we want to place uh, the particular uh, your reinforcement. So we'll go to wireframe view. We'll hide the particular beams. We'll select this and right click and hide in view the elements so now we only have uh, the particular slab uh, if you want to measure the distance uh, or the between these two so we can also do that let's go with our particular uh, option of modify and uh, check the dimensions here we have uh, the linear dimension if we can if we can just take the linear dimension from here to here so this is the linear dimension 3725 uh, from here to here so after we have the linear dimension of it uh, we then we can work on it we can uh, also change this to this much so now uh, we'll work with the linear dimensions and we have the structural drawing so it is it is around uh, this we have a reinforcement which goes from here to here and alternatively another reinforcement which goes from here to here and in the top reinforcement we have one reinforcement from here to here and here to here and uh, the perpendicular reinforcement that is the reinforcement on reinforcement is along the longer span and one reinforcement is along the shorter span so if we check the uh, structural drawing here so this this particular section is cut along the we are viewing it from the shorter span so that's the case here and now so if you're viewing it from the shorter span so we'll uh, design it accordingly in this particular section so now if this uh, length particular length is uh, 3725 now so we'll work uh, with that so we'll uh, give some offsets here so, so let's give an offset of 1.15L 0.25L from here so mm, we'll calculate uh, 0 0.15 into L so L should be uh, you know 37 uh, 3725 uh, plus 3725 plus 250 by 2 and plus 250 by 2 that is that will be uh, equals to we'll uh, do that plus 3725 plus 250 so it will be around uh, okay 3725 plus 250 that is the column thickness so it will be 3975 so if, if this is 3975 so this particular uh, 0.15 L will be 3975 into 0.15 so 3975 into 0.15 so this is 596.25 uh, so we'll take an offset from here of 596.25 structure grids take this offset of uh, 596.25 from here actually from here 596.25 and uh, again from here we can take an offset of 0.25L 0.25L is basically uh, 0.25 into 3975 3975 into 0.25 so it will basically 1987.5 so we'll take an offset from here uh, 1987.5 so this let's check the calculation once again so it will be basically uh, point will basically 3975 into 0.25 so 3975 into 0.25 equals to 
so we'll do this 993.75 from here so this is done here so let's uh, give, give the bottom reinforcement for that so first of all we'll go to structure uh, we'll go to rebar and we'll uh, select this we have 8 mm rebars here and uh, first of all you can define the covers for this particular uh, slab so now for the cover you can go to the structure check the cover and then I can select this so we have the covers for of 20 mm so if you want different cover you can select this I want here 20, 15 mm cover so uh, we want to duplicate any of the covers so let's duplicate this duplicate and uh, we'll type here slab cover and we'll do this value as we'll do this value as okay slab cover 2 let's do this and do this value as uh, 15 mm so already have one we can use that one also so okay and we'll select this and we'll select slab cover 2 so now we have selected this cover cover is done so we'll go back to structure and then rebar and then uh, this particular uh, shape of the rebar and after that after selecting the shape let's select the uh, diameter that is the 8 mm and the placement will select the parallel to cover and so now we'll go with near cover reference and placement should be parallel to work plane and uh, make sure you have this particular fine mode turned on and after that you can place uh, the particular uh, covers here it's reinforcement here so we'll place the reinforcement in this also use this different options so now we are going to use this so after that we can simply this is the uh, beam sorry reinforcement as you can see you can start from here if the first if it's for the bar particular top so let's start from here and this one we can do it up to here and uh, similarly this is the bottom reinforcement we can simply copy this from here to here and we'll select this and we can do this up to this much so this is one reinforcement this is up to this much and this is one reinforcement up to this much so we'll go to the level of the particular slab and uh, we can uh, select this and we can right click and then we can uh, override graphics in view by element increase the transparency apply ok and uh, after that we can uh, simply check the reinforcement bars we can go to the east elevation and we can simply uh, give a particular spacing to it so the spacing is we have here for this bar is in the bottom bar is, is 100 mm uh, center to center so we'll, we can go with 100 mm for one bar and 100 mm for another bar so total there will be a spacing of 208 mm because 8 mm bar will be in between since we're going for the alternate and uh, alternate uh, spacing so it will be maximum spacing and then it will go with 208 mm and then let's check the particular option in level 3 so this is the uh, spacing which we have done and and then if we have another reinforcement as well in the single reinforcement which we have here this one we have this one we have a singular reinforcement here we can uh, simply move that to from here to here that is the uh, reinforcement which will be uh, in the parallel to it so this we can do as maximum spacing and this one also 208 so now we have this so now we have two uh, parallel reinforcement this with both uh, uh, spacings here so we can reduce this from here to here 
and from here to here so now we have alternate reinforcement arrangements in the, which is done in the case of slab we can see this in the 3d view as well but i think you have got we have achieved the thing which we wanted and uh, now for the other reinforcement which is, is it is 8t at the rate 125 center to center it will come uh, continuously along the bottom so for this one we can go to the east view once again and uh, we can uh, go to structure and then rebars and then this time we'll choose uh, perpendicular to cover and we can you know place the particular reinforcement bars where you want and the placement should be near cover reference and uh, we are inserting the bar size of 8 mm let's uh, insert a bar size of 8 mm here and after you know selecting this bar size of 8 mm we'll simply click on escape and right here you can simply use the option of copy and then since this is uh, 125 center to center we can use this copy option and we can go this 125 and uh, we can again go from here 125 so like this we can go he from so since we have some reinforcing done so from here we can copy this this is already selected and we can copy some more with the help of control you can copy more and then copy from the center point to here copy again from this center point to this copy again from this center point to this so we can repeat this uh, copy commands till we have uh, covered all the parts so we don't want need the one in here so we can simply select them select and delete this So now we have you know achieved the reinforcement at the bottom so the bottom reinforcement part is complete so we have this uh, this parallel reinforcement and this perp perpendicular reinforcement both uh, we have and you can check in the level 3 as well so we have this uh, reinforcement all through here right now and also we have this particular other reinforcements as well which we had seen earlier so now we'll go back to the elevation now we'll provide we want the top reinforcement so for the top reinforcement uh, we can uh, simply uh, give another round of offsets here so we can uh, now uh, delete this uh, two if we want don't want to okay, keep we can delete this and now we want to give another round of offsets for the top one so for the top one we'll go uh, 0.1 l and uh, 0.3 l from this so uh, let's go to we'll calculate the particular 0.1 l 0.1 into 39 3973 so this value is 397.3 so from here we can simply go to structure and then grids and then take this option and then 397.3 from here from the column end this is 397.3 and uh, from this this side from this side it is 0.3 l so this is let's calculate this 0 0.3 into 3973 it's equals to 191 point uh, 1191.9 so we'll take this value 1191.9 and we'll just simply put this here 
and now we can simply uh, put the top reinforcement so we will uh, take we'll click on escape and we'll select this and first of all we can uh, select one uh, reinforcement this one as well as this one we can select this and this and uh, we can simply if you want if this is not you can simply extend it also up to this much now you can select this and this and we can copy this from here to here so now we have copied this and you can simply change the size to this much and the spacing of this is uh, 150 so the center to center and this particular uh, bar is 175 center to center so this will be at a spacing of 150 and uh, this will be 175 so this you can select this and copy this let's see 175 enter and then copy 175 enter so this much we can do here and let's copy this as well this one as well as the uh, top reinforcements the top reinforcements will be the same now we can simply copy this go to copy and copy this from this end to this end and we can now extend this from here to the portion which we want and this reinforcements also will copy select this select this copy and cop paste them from here to here copy so this is done the reinforcement both at the top and the bottom is done only this one we can change the spacing of it so this spacing is your we have the spacing of this particular bar as 150 center to center the top bar so this is already 150 so now we can check at the level 3 as you can check we have achieved the uh, reinforcement which we want so if you want you can also you know check it in the 3d view as well so for that you can go to the 3d view and uh, let's select the entire 3d view and after that we can uh, simply check the uh, structural rebar and untick everything and after you have done that click on ok in the properties option you can go uh, to the visual properties graphics visibility and you know take this to click on ok and after that you can check this you can check the reinforcement which has been done so you can zoom in you can pan and then you can check the reinforcement which we have done as per the structural drawings so friends you know reinforcing a particular slab is very easy but it is the job of a detailer to reinforce a particular uh, slab or any particular member as per the structural drawing and which we have shown in today's video so hope you like this video and if you found it useful share with your friends and also if you want professional training from us you can contact us using the number which has been given bye bye